Hey Aquarius, welcome to your tarot reading. Thanks for being so patient. So don't know if you saw the update, but we are now doing the Divine Masculine Feminine Therapist spread. So what the hell do I mean by that, right? We are going to take your masculine energy, your feminine energy, does not matter your gender, we all embody both, and we're going to put them in a little couple's counseling room, okay, with the goal of reunion, reconciliation, yes? We, as a collective, are so focused outside of ourselves on the one, finding our own union. This is a reading to help you come into your own union to then attract what it is you're seeking, okay? No more karmic soul contracts. We're looking for counterparts, okay? So if you have Aquarius in your chart, this is a reading for you. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. Although, be responsible. That's the best I can tell for informational purposes, okay? Um, and then you guys know the drill. If it resonates, leave feedback. I love hearing from you guys. I appreciate it so much. I adore anyone that's willing to do this work with me, okay? Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, okay? So straight up, we have some energy popping out here about afraid of being found out, okay? Um, again, your gender does not matter, okay? But it looks like the masculine energy is in survival mode, which I do see a lot but it's very like defensive, like doesn't want to admit that there's an issue in this union of self, okay? Um, I'm getting abandonment issue, we'll see. Yeah, my eye just got stuck, like you might not see things clearly or he doesn't want to see, okay? Here's judgment and our worst fear, the nine of swords. You guys, this is literally nightmare of the mind, okay? Having to like look into the mirror or acknowledge something is really bothering your masculine energy. I get it's kind of like that. And again, I'm gonna say this so many times, gender does not matter, okay? But it's like that toxic masculinity of like, uh, rub some dirt in it, don't cry. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Dang. So we have the Wheel of Fortune as your shadow card. Awesome really great okay things are going to spin into your favor we have two queens in the reverse underneath that you're gonna need to honor your empress energy yeah there you are the hermit the star you're on a soul path if you allow yourself some quiet if your masculine can allow himself to really listen to this empress and evaluate how that feels within him gonna be gucci <laughs> all right we will get into all that in a moment i'm gonna pull just some energy for your feminine here i hope you guys are doing well uh there's a full moon coming up on the third so if you have capricorn placements uh be mindful okay oh the two of cups mm -hmm. your empress is so sweet oh my goodness gracious so for the sake of this reading, I'm going to be saying he and she. I just don't want to have to specify about the gender stuff and everything, okay? You get it. This is all you, Empress energy, Emperor energy, okay? So your Empress is straight up telling me right away, like she's trying to hang in there for you. She, it's like, I know that he's in there somehow or somewhere. I'm holding this space for him for when he's ready. So it's really beautiful. You actually have beautiful emotions. You just need to honor them is what it looks like, okay? So let's get the theme for your masculine here. Okay, following your own good advice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why did I just get uh, do as I say, not as I do? You little rebels. Okay. Um, this is all about trusting yourself. Being your own best friend. You're very logical. You're a fixed air sign okay the innovators of the zodiac i've totally talked about this before people look to you as leadership as you know authority even um aquariuses are going to be the first ones to go and go against the grain break the um the chains i'm getting believe so you guys are receiving a lot of signs and you're i just saw 444 speaking of <laughs> and uh it's stirring up a lot of feelings a lot of intuitive hits i'm getting you have to not dismiss that okay um the themes on your feminine side here 
a moment's regret. Okay, so really just like nostalgia, okay, of uh, feeling safe or love. It's like in the past. Some of you might struggle with depression, okay, but there's um, there's abandonment issues here for sure, okay. Your feminine doesn't know how to trust your masculine because he doesn't listen to her. He doesn't validate her. So how does she know she's really being heard or her concerns are really being uh, looked at here, okay? And then we have, who in the world are you? Getting to know the real you. She feels shunned, right? Your masculine may have had a problem establishing a sense of self, okay? Self-identity, something like this. I'm very much getting like a imposter syndrome, all right? So we're gonna go through the reading. We're gonna let your masculine energy open up here. Why are we here? What's his point of view? We'll do the same for your feminine. We'll talk about the past. We'll talk about current situations, how you see each other, next steps, okay? So, Mr. Wheel of Fortune here, what's going on? Because I feel like, okay, so your masculine's telling me here that I don't want to neglect myself anymore. Like, I don't want to suffer. I don't want to go through, you guys went through a dark time, maybe a dark night of the soul. I saw the hermit under there, okay? Um... Again, depression, right? Mental health stuff. Maybe even financial stuff. The lovers. Yeah, maybe a breakup, okay? Mm, yeah, maybe a breakup. Like a long-term situation here. Um, and you're learning how to recoup from that, so to speak, okay? How to get back on your own two feet. And I see you surrendering and coming back to home. I feel like you, uh, your emperor energy has a little bit of a two problem. <laughs> Uh, might have some issues with authority there. It might be beneficial to go into my timeless playlist and watch the father wound video. Um, but yeah, he's he wants to be here. That much I can tell you. He is not wanting to shun, okay, your empress energy. So basically you want to feel your feelings. We just don't know maybe how after a really long period of feeling numb. You guys are fixed error, okay? So if anyone's gonna compartmentalize, see things as black and white, hello, <laughs> okay? So let's give your feminine energy the same grace here, all right? Now, you, your masculine energy was just kind of like, all right, all right, I'll show up, you know? It was clearly your feminine energy that made the appointment here, okay? <laughs> strength energy some of you have leo in your chart it it really doesn't matter guys i just like to validate it for you but um rawness vulnerability your feminine's like you know and this this image it's like you're caressing your masculine self you know taming the beast is what i'm getting like your empress energy just wants to do that empress unconditional love, nurture, that motherly love to self, okay? And getting your masculine energy really needs some compassion. You need to be more compassionate with yourself, Aquarius. Uh, more understanding. The tower, dun, dun, dun. Look at all this major arcana. Two cards in, two major arcanas. Yeah, Scorpio energy there. You know, I'm just peeking at your empresses shadow energy here and it's like after a long time your feminine energy has waited a long time to be heard or validated and I just feel like now more than ever is the opportunity to like have a real big impact for change wheel of fortune tower it's beautiful change, but you have to, again, know who you are as a whole, okay? Yeah, Ace of Coins. I want a new beginning. I want this to work. I want this to work. Six of Wands. Yeah, I want to show up for myself. I want to learn these skills. I don't want to be upset anymore. I don't want to miss out on life, on love. I don't want to keep falling into karmic patterns. I want my heart space recognized. This is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I usually see a lot of pissed off empresses. Yours is so compassionate, kind, and understanding, and dare I say patient, okay? When you love, you love hard, Aquarius. For sure. Absolutely. 
I do see even your Empress energy might need to get more emotional there. Still a little bit more of like desire versus feeling, but we'll talk about that, okay? So I'm going to switch over here and let your masculine energy tell me about kind of what's been going on from his point of view, okay? So you're probably going to really identify with this as like your coping skills. Um, anytime you felt like you swept something under the rug, we're going to kind of go there. It's really interesting, actually, now that I noticed this, because again, your Empress was opening up with that beautiful strength card, right? Wanting to cradle you, okay? Tame you is really what I'm getting here, self-mastery. But your masculine is strength in the reverse in the past. Saying, yeah, I couldn't have done this before. I couldn't have been this raw. I couldn't have been this present. Uh, I was hurt. Shame, embarrassment. Guys, shame is the source of all pain, okay? Addiction, symptom, okay? Mental health stuff, symptom. It's to the core. It's shame, okay? Even under un anger, even under hurt, it's shame, I'm telling you. And that's what I feel like you had to bury. Why? I'm not sure. Hangman. Pisces energy, seven of pentacles in the reverse, the chariot, cancer energy. You were put in a position, your masculine is telling me, where you it, it you had to survive, okay? Remember I said earlier, survival mode, right? Fight or flight much. You, you just, you had to go and do. So this may have been like, I don't have time for emotions. I have to keep a roof over my head. Some of you could have moved. Some of you, um, it's like I lost everything and... I don't wish this for any of, any of you, but I'm getting this image of like a house fire, you know? So I don't know if that was burned bridges or we burnt it all down or, you know, it just all went to shit or if that was actually like a catastrophic event for you. But um, it left you wildly, I was going to say disconnected, but then I heard numb. Completely numb. We... We had to keep going. I'm getting the world keeps spinning. You know, side note, this reminds me, you know what this energy reminds me of? A couple years ago, I remember watching a neighbor call 911 freaking out in her driveway because her friend was over and they OD'd. And I watched the ambulance come and get her and take her away and just... The panic, right? Of course, like the fear, everything. Somebody was having, I actually have chills, the worst day of their lives. And then like just five minutes later, it was just like, I don't know. I just noticed like the sun was shining and like kids were riding their bikes and it it, it was like it never even happened. I That stuck with me forever. And it was probably one of like, my biggest lessons of like life goes on life does not stop for anyone and I feel like you saw that the hard way as well okay maybe some of you od I just talked about addiction twice hopefully not but this is what I'm looking at okay numbness we have to just keep going we just have to keep moving um I am just gonna go a hair deeper on here. There's a lot of pain. Yeah, some of you had to move, had to pick up and relocate. I'm telling you, like you lost your home, you lost your job, okay? Relationship. Um, yeah, this was survival mode, you guys. And here's the thing, your masculine energy genuinely felt like they were doing the best thing at the time, okay? You have to be kind to yourself, Aquarius. You were doing the best you could with what you had, the skills you had, the resources you had. You did the best you could, okay? But there's absolutely leftover pain that your empress is like, can we talk about that now? You know? Okay, let's get your feminine's point of view. Ten of wands in the reverse. Hmm. Oh, trigger warning for you. I'm about to tick you off. You know, whatever you lost, your empress was relieved by, and I'm, I'm sorry for how triggering that might sound because it could have been so many different things, right? And it, it felt like the end of the world to you. I'm telling you, I see it, okay? And again, I just saw 444 when I looked up. However, your empress is like, I was trying to tell you forever that that was too much for us, that I couldn't take it. 
I'm glad it's gone. Okay? Or life is easier. Like, I'm telling you, that's your Empress's point of view. The sun. Now we have a chance at happiness. You were trying to force something here. The high priestess, Aquarius, and the ace of wands, Pisces, Leo, energy again for the win. Listen to me, my Aquarian friends. I don't know what you went through. And I'm not saying that you deserved it, okay? Or that I'm glad you were hurt or your circumstances were changed. But as a fixed sign, I know. Sometimes it does take something substantial to really put us on the right track. Speaking of, it took me an OD, okay? To get serious about my healing, right? Heartbreak. Wow, you, you're so torn. You are so torn because your emotions, I think you feel guilt possibly for how you feel because it's like, logically your your nervous system was like no 911 sound the alarms you know but your feminine energy was like oh, exhaled for the first time you were carrying too much on your shoulders um you weren't happy aquarius and you kept that a secret or maybe you kept it a secret that you were truly relieved Like you didn't have that pressure, that responsibility anymore. All of a sudden, something freed up. It was, it was, you lost weight, you know? Um, I can live for me now type of an energy. It is, it's a second chance type of an energy. And I can't remember if I was shuffling on camera or not for you. It might have been before, but judgment kept showing up. So that makes sense. Hmm. Wow. All right. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was an offer. It was an opportunity. Now I can love. Some of you had a relationship and now it's like opened you up to be able to love now. And I am seeing that. Um, but let's, let's let your masculine speak. Okay. We're going to get your masculine's POV of what is happening Currently, I just realized I used your masculine's cards to tell us about the feminine. Very interesting. Anyway, your current energy here. The princess of pentacles in the reverse for our masculine. No, I don't want to think about it. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Your feminine energy is telling you you're ready for love. I'm telling you straight up. I'm ready for union, whether it's in thyself or with a partner. Okay. Six of pentacles. You're some, eh, this is bread crummy. Red crummy ten of cups, Aquarius, ten of swords in the reverse. So pay attention to ten ten, okay? But you're ready to open your heart, Aquarius. You are. You are. But you're very um you're hesitant because of your past, because of what you think you lost. It makes sense completely. It's muscle memory. It's trauma. It's pain that hasn't been validated yet. Um, you know, and I felt my incense like just come over. I don't know if you saw smoke or not, but it was like saging me, right? Like smudging me, purifying, okay? You're a new person. You've grown. You've changed. You, you have different skills and resources, I feel. Or at least you're learning. But I do see it's... Uh, I'm not trying to look at the surface level on what's going on outside of you, okay? This is about union within yourself, but I can't help but see you probably have someone maybe new with you, okay? Like a new partner, or if this is an established relationship, it's the desire to connect on a deeper level. And you are ready, just very uncomfortable, uh, like fawn learning to walk type of a thing, okay? I totally heard my Jersey accent in that. I can't help it. <laughs> Okay, so your feminine energy is just like, how about love? Can we love now? Can we please love? I am ready to open my heart to someone. Page of Swords, I think Judgment. Ace of Cups, the High Priestess, Aquarius. I chills. Have you met the one? That's really great. Good for you. 
I'm actually getting very emotional. Um, hmm, Archangel Gabriel. I just had a dream about this fool. I've never dreamt of like an angel before. I didn't even really know what the Archangels was. All of a sudden he's showing up in my dream, showing me 555 five, five in his chest. It was like, the. it wasn't weird. It was just like wild. But anyway, maybe that'll mean something to you. But um, hmm, there's a lot of Pisces and Scorpio energy here. Very like psychic, intuitive. You might have those placements or just be naturally psychic. Your feminine is like, whether you've met the one outside of you or not, your feminine is like, I am ready to trust myself. I am so ready to open my heart completely. I am ready to self-master my emotions. I trust myself to not get into the same karmic cycle. I trust myself to be seen. I want to be seen. I don't know if you wanted to before, okay? I mean, it's really beautiful. I want to look at what you're showing me this judgment is. Ace of coins in the reverse. I'm getting how with that lack of resources. Yeah, four, four of coins, four of wands. Um, it's dude, <laughs> dude, dude, debt. <laughs> it's so up to you. It's not even funny. It is literally your call. You might feel really stressed out by that because I felt like my eye was just about to start twitching. But yeah, you're the you're the only one holding yourself back. That's it. Your heart knows what it wants. You just have to find the right soul outside of yourself. And how you do that is by, first step is great. You're here. You're looking at union within yourself. Not that you need me by any means, okay? I do offer this as a personal spread though. Mm -hmm. It's part of my life purpose. But anyway, it's you balancing out your masculine and feminine energy. Allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to be in that flow. To access both, whether you are male or female, okay? Gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energies and they're necessary for a plethora of reasons to be able to switch into those, okay? So that's what I'm saying. Your judgment is so about you. Your feminine is telling me I'm sick of living under a rock or detached or not like receiving love for sure, but also allowing yourself to love you don't want to shut it off anymore you know oh i'm like in love with your feminine energy over here like you're the sweetest your masculine energy okay so let's move into how your masculine energy sees your feminine and vice versa okay so from your masculine's point of view full acknowledgement i have not validated embraced welcomed transition to my feminine energy my empress energy okay we're in the empress in the reverse um you may view i'm gonna hiccup i can feel it so sorry you may view emotions as remember i was saying rub some dirt in it weak okay you might feel like love is like clingy or codependent like it's just like i don't know i'm getting the ick you might have a mother wound so while you're in that timeless playlist watching the father wound check out the mother wound one why not we surprise we all have them we all have them every single one of us nobody had perfect parents there's a reason okay it's a spiritual journey i just heard suck it up sorry <laughs> okay not that you deserved anything but it is learning opportunities and it's time to detach that's what it is it's taking everything so personal mm-hmm 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 so you just shut it down. Ten pentacles, five swords, ace of cups in the reverse. Your masculine's view of love is well, I take care of you, or I take care of myself. You know, it's very like work focus, like your happiness. When you allow yourself to experience emotion, it's showing up like it's in your job or your community or your bank account. Like a lot of you might have joked like, I don't have a heart, you know, or I have a black soul. Like, mm -hmm. it's just been, I mean, and that makes sense for survival mode, you guys. Okay. It's surviving. You know what I'm saying? So 
you were just trying to keep your your heart safe and honor yourself, make yourself happy and content and fill that void within you in other ways. Again, forgive yourself. You were doing the best you could with what you had, like I was saying earlier. But we need to work on your masculine's understanding of what love is from your empress, okay? Because she's the one that's really going to be able to direct. Your masculine has the right idea of like happily ever after, but how do we get there, right? How do we do that? What's a heart? <laughs> okay. What about your empress though? Because how she feels about your masculine, what she wants to offer is literally a cup of love. She's like, I've been waiting for you. Page of cups. Uh, and it's small. She doesn't even have unrealistic expectations. I'm getting like big break. This is my big break. Some of you may have like gotten into like some type of like industry or something. And now like your heart is swelling with gratitude. I'm kind of getting that too, which is dope. What is this? The page of cups, page of <laughs> pentacles here. I'm learning. I'm learning how to love myself. I'm learning how to feel, how to, op I'm telling you, expand my heart. Okay. The emperor. Look how cute you are. <laughs> Aries energy here, although I don't know, Loki, I've always kind of seen the Emperor's Aquarius energy, but um dang. You're so funny because you're just like <laughs> your feminine energy just like accepts you for who you are, which is awesome. And she's just like, I'm just gonna like ask for a kiss on the cheek. I'm not getting crazy right now. You know what I mean? Um, straight up, your feminine energy is saying that you need to learn how to swallow your ego. Mm -hmm. You wanna learn how to love safely. I'm getting it's always been conditional. The fool. Yeah, there you are. Aries Aquarius energy. Kind of felt that in the Emperor, right? New beginning. I'm I want to be present for the experience is what your feminine energy is saying to you. Please don't lock me up. I want to feel. I want to experience. I want to feel vulnerable. I know I've got this. I've got me. Okay. It's really sweet. Yeah, there's just some like, I'm getting like self-help skill building, okay? Like it's, you're good. Five of Swords, yeah. Both of you are just kind of like, how do we do this? Where do we go from here? Stay out of your head and feel, be present. Trust yourself, okay? This is when your masculine energy really gets to shine, all right? That you know what you're doing. You spent so long in survival mode. You've got the instincts. You've got the skills for that, okay? It's time to feel. I'm getting like crawl out from under the rock, you know what I mean? You don't have to take cover. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, both of your exiting energies are also very impactful. Going forward, your masculine saying the world. Some of you are getting into spirituality or having your third eye opened. Um, this is Aquarius energy, fixed sign energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Some of you are moving, just changing a cycle. Guess what? It's happening. I told you guys when I opened the video, uh, full moon's happening on July 3rd, okay? It's going to be, it's cancer season. So there's a lot of emotions and sensitivities coming on. There's a lot of change happening and there's going to be a lot more change coming before the fall equinox, okay? So just remain present. This is beautiful. Let me see what your masculine is telling me about this though, because you're like, okay, things are changing. Things are changing. The 21st might be important to you. Some of you might have been born February 1st. Justice in the reverse. Libra energy, the fool, and the two of cups. Meep. Okay. I do think that you're going to open your heart to somebody. I do. I just highly suggest that you kind of focus on your inner work as well. <laughs> um, because we attract what we are. So be really careful that you're not attracting someone that may also feel like they're still 
healing or less than or detached okay just remain really mindful but other than that your masculine energy is telling me i know i haven't showed up for myself in the past i'm ready now okay might look similar on the surface but i'm really not trying to get into that um your feminine energy is saying the emperor in the reverse so let's find out why she's seven of wands okay she's submitting to you she trusts you. She's saying, I'm ready. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The sun. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of concerns, okay? You, you're you learning to trust yourself. Let me put it that way. I wouldn't say you fully trust yourself, but your feminine is putting her faith in you, her trust in you, that you're going to show up for yourself. And she's like, we'll see. It's There's kind of like a... We'll see how it goes. But I don't see her abandoning you. I just see hope one step at a time, okay? Being honest with yourself is huge. Um, something about lavish, I don't know. Um, it's like, damn, if you could be present with like the skills that you have and stuff, like the way you carry yourself, it's life-changing, it's king. You know what I mean? It is king energy, but you have to learn how to do that. So anyway, any other advice for Aquarius? And then I'll get you guys an affirmation. The chariot and the world in the reverse. Whoa. Yeah, you need to figure out how to end the cycle. Release the pain from the past before you try to move on. Remember, that's what you. That's exactly what you did in the past on your masculine side. Okay, I'm just going to, you know, it goes on, right? That was... That was what we were saying. Okay, so acknowledge it. Listen to your feelings. You don't have to relive anything. Observe, okay? Take inventory and then release. You don't have to carry it anymore, okay? You don't have to bear that weight. Remember, there was relief in the past. Leave it there. Don't get nostalgic, okay? Um, yeah, that makes so much sense because your feminine's lesson was about nostalgia, remember? Okay, who am I, right? A moment's regret. She's been carrying the pain that you have not let go. It's time to hear her, validate it, and release it. Burn it, okay? Again, if you guys want a personal, please email me, okay? I really love this spread. It's really, <laughs> dare I say it, life-changing, okay? I will measure today by how fully present I am. Yeah, you can't... <laughs> I breathe in love and exhale fear. All right, Aquarius, that's enough of the synchronicity in this reading. Pay attention. The divine loves you. Your soul loves you. Be open to receive. See you on the next one.